In today's video, we will be making a classic cocktail straight out of the 80s, the French Martini. So we're going to make the cocktail, we're going to talk briefly about its history, and stay tuned to the very end because we will take a modern twist on this classic cocktail. Hi, I'm Chris from A Bar Above. I'm a 15 year veteran of the bar and somebody that loves making fun and delicious cocktails. So we're gonna make the French martini here in a second, but before we do, let's briefly talk about its history. So Keith McNally actually created this cocktail in the 1980s and as it gained popularity, he included it on his menu in Balthazar in 1996. Now Balthazar happens to be one of my favorite bars and restaurants in all of New York City. So if you're in the area, definitely go stop by and check it out. Now, just a little snapshot of time of where we were as an industry, anything served up in a glass like this was considered a martini. When you look at the recipes and the ingredients, it's definitely not a classic martini. But let's go ahead and make the 1980s version of the French martini. To make the French martini, we're gonna go ahead and grab the cheater tin, the small tin of our Boston shaker and build directly in there. So two ounces of vodka, You can do half an ounce of Chambord. And finally, an ounce and a half of pineapple juice. Then we're just gonna go ahead and add some ice and shake this cocktail up. And finally, to garnish, we're just gonna add a simple lemon twist. If you have fresh raspberries, that would definitely help as well. There we are, the French Martini. Now let's go ahead and make a modern version of the French Martini. So we're gonna go ahead and set this guy aside because we're gonna try this afterwards side by side and we're gonna just follow the same process, building right into our cheater tin. So here, we're gonna go ahead and use gin instead of vodka. Still using Chambord. Now we're gonna add Luxardo Maraschino. Pineapple juice. And finally, we're gonna add a touch of fresh lime juice to really brighten up all those flavors. And finally, we're just gonna go ahead and shake and strain this cocktail. And the final thing to do is go ahead and garnish the cocktail. You could use fresh raspberries if you have them or just a simple lime wheel. And there we have it, a modern version of the French martini. Cheers. And now for my favorite part of the video, let's do a side-by-side -side tasting. Start off with the 1980s classic here. That tastes like the 80s. Very sweet, very cloying. The Chambord just kind of sits on your tongue. It's not great. Uh, if you like sweet cocktails, this might be the one you go for. It's still there. I can still taste it. So now let's try the more modern version of it. Um, and this is the one I'm very excited to try. That one's so much better. Nice and bright, vibrant flavors there. The Luxardo comes through and is just a more balanced and delicious cocktail. Between the two, for me anyways, from uh, there's no different or no comparison. This one all day long. 
There we have it. We have made the 1980s classic French martini. We've talked about its history. We've given it a modern twist and tasted them side by side. So we know you have watched videos like this in the past. You know what we're going to ask. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon, and you will get notified anytime we release cocktail videos similar to this one. Until then, I hope you are enjoying your favorite version of the French martini, whichever one it is. Cheers.